So we got Ertz back. And we got Press Taylor calling plays. This Sunday gonna be interesting, man. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and we back with another one. It's Philly Philly the podcast. Appreciate you all chilling with me. You know, give me like five, six minutes. I just want to talk to y'all. But listen, before we do get into this news, please do be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you ring that notification bell, man. We are so close to 1K. I am feeling like SpongeBob when he, you know, got out the water. So obviously, if you are reading the news, Zach Ertz has been activated. He is um, expected to play Sunday against the Packers. Look, it's on paper, it's a, it's a big, big, um, big comeback for us. Big guy to have back. You know, Zach Ertz is an all-pro tight end this year. If you look at how he's played when he was on the field, it was not pretty. A lot of the Eagles fans, a lot of Eagles nations, a lot of, you know, Eagles analysts have been questioning his, you know, his guts, really, if you want to put it like that, or his effort, whatever you want to say, he just hasn't looked like he's wanted been has wanted to be on the field um, when he's been on the field. So, hopefully, he comes back and he has that fire. Hopefully, he comes out and he gives something to this deep, to this offense that we've been sorely lacking. You know, look, we have Dallas Goddard and now we have Zach Ertz. This is as healthy as we're gonna get. We got Jordan Mailata coming back to play. This is as healthy as we're gonna get this whole year. I want to give up so bad. I want to just say, hey, I, you know, it, it must feel great to just be like, listen, we're looking at draft picks. It is what it is. But if you're an Eagles fan, you know every single week it is a fight. You have a chance and it's annoying, but we have a chance. So we have to keep fighting, man. And that's all I want to see. And the one thing that we have in our favor is that this is an audition for every single player on our team every single coach on our team this is an audition you might not be a philadelphia eagle next year everyone well maybe with the exception of the carson ones but you know what i mean you might not be a philadelphia eagle next year zach Ertz. you know doug peterson howie roseman this is this is the time these last couple games are going to show us what you're worth who wants to be here brandon graham i think said it best you know at this point we're trying to see who really wants to be here who really wants to be an eagle I know Derek Barnett does. He's playing like he wants to be an Eagle. Brandon Graham's playing like he wants to be an Eagle. Darius Slay is playing like he wants to be an Eagle. Rodney McLeod is playing like he wants to be an Eagle. And I like what I'm seeing out of our linebackers. You know, so look, I like Zach Ertz. I love Zach Ertz. Big part of 2017. Never forget that, obviously. But he needs to come out and he needs to play like he wants to be an Eagle. You still have two years on your contract, young man. Play them out. Play them out. All right? I'm sure we'll give you a little bit of money, or we might have to trade you. But if you keep on complaining about money, you are going to move on. You know, I had Thomas Arnone from A2D Radio on here, and something he said, which really, really, you know, caught my attention and is very true. We're not doing well. We're not playing well. You, individually, we're not playing amazingly. And you're asking for more money? That's your first thought? Not the team? Jason Peters, you, you, you are on your last leg. No one wanted you. Hate to say it like that. No one wanted you, big guy. We took you back. We gave you a whole new position for you to succeed, and you want more money? Like I said, this is an audition. Another person that's going to be auditioning. It seems like Press Taylor might get the nod to call some plays. I don't know why. I don't think anybody knows why. There's a rumor that's going around that he called the second half against the Seahawks. I don't think we ran the ball once in the second half, so I'm not looking forward to Press Taylor. And I understand we were behind, but it wasn't a blowout. You stay with the running game. You even watch, because I know a lot of you guys are, you know, you guys are kind of hidden Colts fans lately. You know, shout out to Frank Reich. He's doing a great job. They got blown out. They were still running the ball. They were still running the ball. They were still trying to get in that game, running the ball, doing what they do. And they're not even a good running game. They're not even a good running team, I should say. So I'm nervous. I'm not excited to see Press Taylor playing, calling plays. I would rather see Deuce. I'd rather fail 
and know that deuce is not ready for it, you know, or succeed and see that deuce is ready for it. A lot of questionable, you know, decisions by this team, a lot of questionable decisions by this front office, time and time again. Am I excited about Press Taylor? No, not at all. I do think we can beat the Packers. I think this is a game that a lot of people are sleeping on us. We are a talented team. It comes down to play calling. But I hope whoever is calling plays shows up and runs that ball. The best offense, the best defense we can have right now is our run game. We have to control that ball. We have to control the time of possession. And we can't let Aaron Rodgers beat us. He's going to do everything he can. Aaron Jones is going to do everything he can. Devontae Adams is going to do everything they can. We cannot let them stay on the field too long. We have to make this about our running game, about our offensive line. Do I think we can do it? Yes, I do think we can do it. What's my prediction? I think the Eagles are going to win. I think the Eagles will beat the Packers 27 to 15 to 14. I don't know how to do math. 27 to 14. I know I'm probably wrong. But I don't care. We gonna go out there and we gonna show what it is. Like, like, like I said, I'm excited that Zach Ertz is back on paper. I hope, I pray that he comes out with some type of fire. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he's heard all the media. I'm sure he's seen all the um, articles, all the social media. You know what I'm saying? So he, he knows how we feel. Just like everybody else on this team, they know we're not happy. So I'm hoping he comes out and he shows out, man. This is your time, Zach Ertz. Do you still wanna be an eagle? This is the time to do it. And even if you don't want to be an eagle, prove that you're worth that whatever $13 million you're trying to get from someone. Get us some good value in a trade. So, you know, that's my opinion. That's my thoughts on what's going on. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about Press Taylor. I'm sure it's not going to be an overwhelmingly positive answer. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about um, Press Taylor taking over play calling. Let me know what you guys think about Zach Ertz. Do you think he's going to have that fire back in him? But love to hear um, other than that, you know what it is, man. Make sure you check the links in the description for all the merchandise. We got some fire stuff. We got fanny packs, y'all, if you want a fanny pack. But you know what it is, man. It's Fly Eagles Flying. We are out here. Peace. Brooklyn.